So my Fulbright was um, for 2023, 2024, and I was based in Washington DC at Georgetown University. The Fulbright was part of completing my PhD research. And so I was based at Georgetown University in Washington DC, which is the sort of political heartland of America. Part of completing my PhD research over in the US was also conducting archival research um, at presidential libraries across the country. See, I also had the opportunity to travel um, across to different pockets of the United States to go to these amazing presidential libraries to do archive research. And I guess step out of that Washington bubble to see more of the United States. I love traveling and so I guess, and really immersing myself in a culture. And I think the Fulbright really celebrates that so much. The Fulbright puts you into a connection or into a community of people that are so curious and positive and w so willing to engage and immerse themselves into the world around them. It allows you to really be part of the world and the Fulbright, uh, you know, you roll your sleeves up and you jump straight in. This is your opportunity to immerse yourself in the US, in your research um, and just to make the most of it and to meet people that and just really, they're so inspiring and not just your Fulbright cohort, but other people that you get a chance to, to meet along your travels. You see the world in um, a different light in that you are just so open to meeting new people and to understanding that diversity is such a gift and that being able to jump into a different culture and to immerse yourself so fully in it is really exciting and it's a great opportunity and to do it now when the world is at a real tipping point um, is is a sort of amazing responsibility and opportunity to to contribute to making it more positive part of being over in, in the us for six months on this fulbright journey was that it really instilled in me the, the power of citizen diplomacy. And I think that's what Senator Fulbright had in the idea of this, is that so much cooperation and peace um, happens from the ground grassroots level. So it was a really amazing opportunity to be part of that.